Hey folks, it's Ryan Bridge Bugman, and I'm coming to you on a beautiful day here in Pennsylvania, but we're still in the beginning of March. Check it out, man. I was driving down the road here, and I saw some cocoons that were off to the side, because that's what I do. And I just want to give everybody a real quick video and let you see how easy it is to find this stuff and I'm finding cocoons. So the sun is about perfect for this spot. It puts the sun at my back. I can walk along here and I can check out this edge. I'm gonna walk along the edge of the road. I'll keep this video as short as possible, but I just wanna give you a quick idea and let you know how easy these things are to find, all right? There is our first one. And I saw these as I was cruising by. <laughs> See how that glows? See how the sun lights those up? And there it is. This is a Promethea silk moth cocoon. About as simple as it gets. I'm driving by and I see these cocoons glowing in the sun just like it, just like they do. All right, we're going to find a bunch more here because I know there's some more here. And there's another one. And up above it is another one. Not too hard to find, eh? Okay, see how they glow? That's important. Keep your back to the sun and let the sun light these things up for you. Super easy. This is another one I saw while I was driving past. That's what made me stop because these things are just sticking out there like little light bulbs. All right, guys, there's another one. Right there. That's not a bad haul. Five minutes playing around. One of the cocoons I found earlier was not viable, so I got rid of that. I dropped that off in a weed somewhere um because it wasn't any good but these are all four live and viable cocoons uh they're all on spice bush that tells me they're all gonna be prometheas as well that one looked almost like a uh, tulip tree but it's not the, the food plants wrong so they're all good cocoons and that's how easy it is guys all right it's not so hard looking for cocoons uh you drive by you see them you train your eyes to look and you will find this stuff super super easy take these back we'll put these in a cage and at some point this spring or summer i'm gonna end up with some pretty nice little moths floating around that I can use for breeding stock and then get some caterpillars, which I then use in programs for bug man. So you get it, man. It's what I do every day. Folks, check it out. Cocoons with the bug man. Anywhere you want to go, anywhere you want to look is a good time. All right, take care, guys. See ya.